Hello there. Let's look at the vocabulary for the angles in uh, polygons and how to calculate their measurements. It tells us that this decagon, ten sides, is regular. So I'm going to label that. Regular means that all the sides are the same measurement, same length. So I put tick marks on all of them. And all of those angles are also the same measurement. Those angles that I've drawn out there, all ten of those things, those are interior angles. And I'll label one of them um, I, to show that's an interior angle. To calculate an interior angle, I can, of course, use the formula. But if I don't happen to remember this 10 minus 2, um, 8 times 180, we can also look at how it's built. I'm going to take this shape over here, this regular decagon. Actually, it doesn't matter that it's regular for what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to cut it into the fewest number of triangles possible. Now, there are different ways of doing this. You can do a zigzag approach. I went with all of the triangles focusing in at one vertex, sort of like a ray. How many triangles did I make? All in all, there are eight triangles, and each triangle, the angles in it, happen to add up to 180, and there are no overlaps, there are no gaps, and all of those angles combine for the whole big decagon there. So all of those angles have to add up to 1,440 in this case. And they're also all split evenly amongst these ten corners in the decagon. So this little angle over here, an interior angle, it happens to be 144 degrees, as does this one, this one, this one, and the rest of them. Where is an exterior angle? I start on one of the edges and then just keep extending it out straight and the angle that's formed in there, that's the exterior angle. Each one of these corners is going to have its own exterior angle. Actually there are two options. I could do the one over here or show off the one down here. Um, but it's, it's the measurement of one of them so we're just going to show this one and how do I calculate that. Well, together, an interior and exterior angle there make a straight line, so they have to add up to 180. So I'm going to start with 180, and then take away what I know to be the interior angle, 144, to get what's left over there. So this little exterior angle is 36 degrees, as are the rest of them. There's another way to get this 36, too. When you walk along the exterior, all those exterior angles, and do the rotation for each of them, you wind up coming full circle back to the beginning. So you can do 360 over 10 to again get that exterior angle of 36 degrees. Two different ways to do it. Should be consistent. Central angle. Where is it? So unlike the um, interior angle one where we cut it up into the fewest number of triangles, for central angle we cut it like a pizza pie. One point in the middle, and in this case we're getting uh, ten slices, one on each edge. We're going to be interested in a single central angle, so we're interested in this one here. Well, it turns out that central angle, because the shape is regular, is the same measurement as this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all of them, and there are ten all in all. They make a full rotation 360, so again I can divide. I get 36 degrees. And you'll notice that this 36 degrees here is the same as this 36 degrees out here. And I'm denoting that in the picture. See how this has two arcs? So does this. They have the same measurement. Character and Scholarship for Life.